Okay, let me get started. Um, so first of all, welcome to the welcome to today's lunch and learn. Um, as you know, these lunch and learns are hosted by IHS Technologies, and we've we've been in the Epcot world for the past twelve years now. And you know, during that time, we continue to see customers struggle, you know, with common issues and often related to you know expanding the boundaries of their Epicor environment. Um, you know, either Epicor doesn't have a current solution. You know, customers struggling with a current offering, or or just getting tired of for changing course every few years and requiring users to learn new products. So these thirty minute sessions, you know, include topics like hosting, EDI, analytics and reporting, shipping solutions, credit card processing, and the topic of today's lunch and learn, uh, which is e-commerce. So along the way, uh, we'll introduce you to some of the best Epicor ancillary solutions we've seen. You know, users have the most success with over the years. Matter of housekeeping, um, everyone's muted for today's call, but you can ask questions using the, the question or chat windows. Um, in addition, you'll be emailed a link to replay the video after the session ends. And if we don't get every question, since it is only 30 minutes, we'll certainly follow up with you. Today's topic actually addresses something that I really wish I had when I was an IT director uh, using Epicor. Our company is sold primarily through distribution. Um, which made it difficult to really create an e-commerce platform because we couldn't have end users buying directly from us. Probably wouldn't have uh, not only made our distribution channel quite upset with us, but also would have violated a long list of agreements we had in place with them. So what we really needed was for end users to you know, purchase our products using the convenience of online shopping while making sure the appropriate distributor got credited for the sale. Um, unfortunately, that didn't exist back then, um, but it does now. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So with that, I'm going to, uh, turn us over to Chris Robinson with Part Trap. Part Trap has been, you know, tightly integrated with Epicor um, ERP for many years. You know, has a solid user base in the market. Uh, they're a trusted partner we enjoy. Uh, we we like we enjoy dealing with them because you know not only do they have a great product, but they're extremely easy to do business with. Uh, they make onboarding very efficient, uh, with great value, and they're they're always very willing to work with you to a proof of concept. You know, whatever it takes to help you see uh, the, the benefits using their product to make sure it's a great fit. So with that, Chris, I'm going to make you a presenter and you should be able to share your screen. Can you hear me and can you see the slide? We can see you and you look wonderful. <laughs> well, why can't we see the slide here? Let, let's you can see my screen now? Oh, it's beautiful now. You nailed it. Oh, okay. Boy, sorry about that, folks. But uh, anyway, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Robinson, and I'm the North American Director for Part Trap. And um, I've known Mark now for oh, probably four or five years and thrilled to be a uh, strategic partner with uh, Mark and the IHS team. And we hope we have a uh, very compelling presentation today. So as you see, our topic is to grow direct customer revenue without competing with your dealers and or distributors, however you uh, call them. OK, and our agenda is we're going to tell you a little bit about Part Trap and uh, some of the challenges with direct going direct uh, in your sales efforts. And we're going to offer you two options where Part Trap uh, provides solutions, depending on which option that you might be interested in. We'll have a quick uh, question and answer and then a, uh, an offer of a uh, no charge workshop, which might look at your solution and uh, give you some uh, answers and some guidance. Okay, uh, first a little, a little bit about, about Part Trap. So we've been in business for, it, it's like ancient times here, 1994, really, when you think of it. We're a global company. Our headquarters is in Sweden and then uh, offices here in uh, North America, which I run. Um, so we have customers globally who sell their manufactured or distributed products, and they might want it in multi-currency, multilingual capabilities. And we handle all of that with a very tight integration with Epicor. We've been in the Epicor world for a long, long time. Many, many satisfied customers here in North America. And you'll see in the bottom left, B2B, B2C, and B2B2X. And that's really what we're going to focus more on today, the concept of B2B2X. But before we start, Mark, if you could just unmute everybody 
and uh, you know, give me an idea of what is it that brought you to today's session, and what is it that you're really hoping, you know, the problem that you're really liking to solve. So if someone could raise their hand and just share your thoughts, and I can then sort of guide our today's presentation to answer some of those uh, questions or requirements you might have. Yeah, and unfortunately, in this, in this platform, we, we can't unmute people, but there is a chat window or question okay. window that we can pop questions into. All right, then that would be fantastic. If you you all could go ahead and do that. Well, I just want to make sure we're covering. So, so Part Trap One is really all about digital transformation and having a successful uh, digital sales process. Uh, again, we focus, a, we focus on manufacturers and distributors. To give you an idea, our customers range from pretty much family owned, if you will, ma and pa businesses, which could be, you know, good sized businesses, all the way up to global organizations like, say, Volvo or Maxon Lift. Maxon is one of the largest uh, Epicor database customers, one of their largest customers, and they manufacture. Um, uh, hydraulics for trucks and lifts. So think of a huge truck that needs to be lifted out of a ditch. They would build the hydraulic lift to uh, make sure that happens. Okay. So uh, we have customers in heavy manufacturing and medical field. Uh, 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 and we just won the business for uh, Broil King and uh, they'll be going live with us uh, late summer this year. So when you go online to order a Broil King grill or one of their dealers or distributors goes online, even if it's at, in Germany, let's say, or France, they're going to be using Part Trap to place that order or the spare part or uh, add-on part that they might uh, have. And, and why is that? So, um, And that's because Part Trap includes out of the box. It's an all-in-one B2B e-commerce platform again, designed specifically for manufacturers, okay? Um, a big value add is that we're reading real-time Ep Epicor files, um, pricing, customer uh, pricing, dealer pricing, product ID, specs from that item, the price for that particular uh, product, uh, and we also have our own configurator and can, can integrate in with the Epicor configurator. We also include what's called CMS, Content Management System, which is really all of the tools that a company would use to build a robust new website from scratch, all .NET based. We also include product uh, PIM, Product Information Management, which is really the images, the, um, if you're using, say, SolidWorks for your CAD drawings, we can, we can integrate that drawing in and then adds hotspots onto it, which would show the dealer price, the customer price, inventory availability, and then click right on the shopping cart to place an order for that and have that show up as an order back in um, Epicor real time. We're very strong in spare parts management. So many companies come to us because they really need a better way of helping their dealers or distributors find the spare part for a specific customer, see the inventory and price and place the order. And we're very good at when there's a complex product and they need to configure a product. We could show you all this in a, in a demo. So why is it important to tell a product story? Well, you know, obviously COVID has probably accelerated e-commerce adoption by many estimates are like five years. Your website has become your new front door, your showroom to your business. And if your organization does not, if your company doesn't have a, uh, a clean, easy to navigate, full of product content, content easy to use website, your customers are going to probably go someplace else. Many businesses have a website, and if you want to buy a product, you call, got to call a customer service. Well, if it's 10 o'clock at night and a part broke, I'm not calling customer service. I'm going to go somewhere else and buy that product. At the same time, all of your product content and the experience needs to be the same, whether it's on a computer like I'm using today, a tablet, or a smartphone. So you're a manufacturer, and now you're considering going with a direct sales approach to broaden the net of customers that you might manage. 
some things to think about. Well, you got to be concerned about competing with your dealers and distributors. How can we handle a situation where a customer calls in, we ask them for their address or zip code, and now we know that I have a dealer in that area. How do I compensate that dealer or get that opportunity over to the dealer or distributor quickly? Okay. Um, and the last thing I want to do is compete with my dealers and make them go someplace else to buy the products that I'm offering them. So you don't have that dealer channel uh, 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 angst, let's say. If you're dealing direct with uh, uh, your end user customers, you got to be prepared for a number of small orders. And there's a cost that each of you have, I'm sure I've calculated for what it takes to take an order, pick an order and ship an order. There's real cost to every one of those. So how are we going to efficiently handle that? Okay. You're going to be, you got to be ready for an increased number of returns and claims handling a lot meant in a dramatic increase in customer support calls. How are you going to accept payments? Can I quickly accept the payment that so I can get paid in a timely manner and not cost me a huge amount of money for my processing fees? We got to be able to validate the delivery address and going back to customer service side, you know, give the customer a means to track their order so they know when they can accept it, when they can expect to receive it. At the same time, you got to be able to calculate sales tax and freight at time of order. Real challenges if you're going to go in a direct sales mode. And how do you handle that? Well, Two solutions are offered in Part Trap One. The good news is that we have two ways that you can solve that. The first is B2B 2X, where that order is going to be routed through your dealer, or you have a drop ship and a store pickup situation with your dealer or maybe your business. And we're going to show you how you can handle both of those situations. So yeah, a typical scenario is on the manufacturer's website, you're going to list a product, the price, and give them using part trap a means to check out and pay by payment or purchase order. However, you're going to accept uh, an ACH payment if you're here in North America, in the United States, let's say. All right, we, we are integrated with your um, back office, in this case, Epicor. We're gonna help you enrich the product data that you're displaying on your, on your screen and make it user friendly for the customer. A challenge is, <laughs> that we hear often from manufacturers who sell through dealers is that the dealers do not have anything close to the most recent image, pricing, inventory availability, or making it easy for the customer to find the product. They may have outdated specs on a uh, product, which could dramatically increase returns and reduce customer satisfaction and make your score you know, lower on, on the ratings, uh, e-commerce ratings, uh, machines that are, and uh, services that are out there. Okay, um, that ends up being a real problem. How does the manufacturer make sure that their deal and distributor has the most up-to-date content available on their website and even maybe uh, a skin that shows their uh, their preferred view and look and feel of that dealer website, colors, et cetera, that they might have. In the B2B 2X concept that comes out of the box with Partrap, the dealer is going to place that order in the manufacturing portal using the latest product content, latest pricing, latest inventory availability. They place that order, press a button, it's going to automatically update into the manufacturer. And now the manufacturer knows that an order has come from this dealer in New Jersey for 500 items of this price. It's going to honor the pricing that's set up within Epicor. Okay. So this is not a situation where there's redundant data out there all over the place that you have to manage. Everything in part trap is anything having to do with that product itself, that product ID, price, dealer uh, pricing and everything is maintained where it should be maintained in the ERP, in this case, Epicor. What we're doing is presenting that price with lots of rich product content that's going to make it an interesting and, and guide that customer to place an order. 
Okay, uh, now what about a situation where the customer is going to the, so many of our uh, manufacturers sell through dealers and maybe each state has a dealer. So let's use an example of Pennsylvania. The customer uh, logs onto the manufacturer's website and wants to place an order. And uh, we recognize that this customer is based in Philadelphia. So therefore, it's going to go to our dealer IHS. Mark's going to know that that customer has been directed to his website and can place the order. And we're going to be able to track that order that this customer belongs to IHS, our dealer in Pennsylvania, when that order is placed so that the price that the customer pays is $749. Mark's cost is $599. So therefore, he's earning margin on that sale. The customer will be able to manage and track that sale all the way through. The dealer, IHS, is going to know that this customer placed the order and know exactly where it is at any time. So whether it's the customer going online or the dealer's customer service rep going online or their sales rep, uh, and the manufacturer, of course, is going to have visibility into all of that. Okay, so uh, it makes it for a much more um, streamlined, uh, uh, coordinated customer experience because a part that they're looking at or a new item they're looking at in the dealer website looks exactly the same as the one that they would find in the manufacturer. Now multiply that by many of our customers have 10, 20, 50, or hundreds or thousands of dealers worldwide. So if I make a change on this image of a part or a new item here in my home part trap system, it's going to populate across the globe with all of our dealers, giving that customer that same customer experience. If a price has changed, or some technical, or they want to add a new video or a PDF on that item, they do it in one place in Partrap, and it's going to populate so that the customer, again, has that same customer experience. So we're going to, we as mentioned, we have the ability to make Mark's website look different from uh, John's website from in, in West Virginia and Bob's website down in Florida. We're simplifying the order process for the dealer, providing the rich content. Uh, we also have an approval criteria. So maybe I we have a recent situation where the customer has a series of clinics and that clinic will go ahead and place an order, but the manufacturer wants that order to come in to a centralized person to confirm that it meets all of their criteria before they go ahead and build that um, um, uh that part for the, actually it's a prosthetic for the uh, patient. So it gives, there is an, another situation might be, uh, this dealer has been a little, little slow in paying their AR, so I want to have an approval process for the manufacturer on every single order that comes in or a threshold, any order above $2,000, I wanna know so I can approve that, okay? And uh, also, Partrap is gonna start and this is working in, in concert with uh, Mark's solution from a business intelligence side, the ability to gather market data and user information on, hey, this dealer, their sales this month compared to last year, 2021 compared to 2020, uh, what's my total rev, uh, sales or quotes on this particular item right here? So real, real time information to help you manage your business. Partrap also has the ability to do drop shipment from a store. So the customer hits the website, hits the manufacturer's website. The manufacturer recognizes that this dealer is in Pennsylvania. So the customer then can go and pick, actually drop ship either. The manufacturer can either drop ship it directly to the customer or drop ship it to the dealer because the dealer wants the customer to come into their office and give them a chance to upsell or maybe do some training on how to use that item. We handle that situation also. Closing the loop on that manufacturer, customer, and dealer relationship. Or the, uh, as mentioned, the, oh, what I do here. So the, also a situation where the 
uh, uh, order can be shipped, uh, shipped directly to the customer, as I mentioned. In the meantime, Partrap's going to recognize that this customer belongs to this dealer. So let's say they have a 5, 10, 20% margin. All right, we're going to recognize that because we're looking into Epicor to read that. And then that dealer is going to get their monthly margin on that order. Okay. And of course, all the end order, uh, end user order statistics that relate to that particular order. Or, as I mentioned also, that third build on this situation is where the dealer wants that customer to come into their store to pick it up uh, for additional sales. And maybe they want to upsell them on a warranty. And by the way, uh, Partrap also offers a not only the dealer management, but we also offer a quotation. So if you have dealers or uh, sales reps or OEM sales reps, you know, uh, manufacturer reps that might manufacture multiple products, and you want to make it easy for that manufacturer rep or your dealer to quote a product, and instead of just sending them a spreadsheet, it would include a uh, PDF that in that pulls in the individual items that that customer is looking for, all the technical specs, pricing, inventory availability, anything that you want to pull in. That's all stored in our PIM. And then a real life quotation is sent email to the customer and you have a track of it. Uh, and the, so the dealer knows how many open quotes there are and the manufacturer can manage how many open quotes there are uh, for a individual customer. Okay, so instead of just sending them a spreadsheet that says, send me $10,000. No, it still says $10,000, but it has the images, technical documentation, uh, to help that customer better understand what it is they're being quoted. Okay, so again, we're going to simplify the order process for the dealer. We're going to make uh, the, the dealer search with store information. Uh, if they searched on a snowplow, you can see we can present that snowplow in an exploded view because I need that spare part right there. We can add a hot spot onto that snow plow spare part that's going to show the inventory availability or uh, 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 order date uh, or arrival date, let's say, and the cost for that individual item. And the inventory availability may be a number, 100 or 10 in stock, or it may be green, yellow, you know, red, whatever uh, you, you want it to, to display here. I could click on this image and rotate it 360 degrees to find the part that I'm looking for. So think of like a golf cart where I want to flip the golf cart over because the battery or connection that I need to purchase is on the bottom. This is what I mean by making it easier for the customer to find the product that they're looking. I could search for this item by serial number, by product ID, by name, by any uh, by other manufacturer's name. The uh, uh, Many of our customers, uh, they want to be able to load in their competitor's catalog and then have a search where the customer could put in a part number from a competitor and their their equivalent part is going to come up all out of the box with part trap okay so uh just in closing part trap is a is is offered in a SaaS model software as a service we don't charge by the user okay um, and it's a, a, a very affordable solution that you can crawl, walk, and run with. You can start just with our basic system and then add on additional modules uh, as you go forward and as your, uh, your business requires. So with that, um, the main part of my presentation is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something uh, for it. And let's open up, Mark, for uh, questions. All right, thanks, Chris. That was that was exactly the information we're looking for today. Um, dealing with the uh, how how to navigate that distributor uh, network. There, I'm looking. Uh, don't see any questions, um, but um, I have some, and that is that. So you can the integration with Epicor allows a, a customer to uh, also you know make sure the inventory is going to be available. I, I, heard that right so they can tell if, it, if there's product in stock either by number or by a, a green yellow or red 
Yeah, that's correct, Mark. We're reading, uh, Partrap was built in such a tight integration with Epicor out of the box that we're reading real time at that product ID. So the product that the customer first engages with, let's use the example of that snowplow, okay? So they found it on the dealer website um, and or the manufacturer's website, and now they can drill into more and more information about that particular item, okay? And then using this hotspot, they can, uh, so we're gonna pull certain information from Epicor, and that's gonna be the price, whether it's a dealer. So a dealer is gonna, maybe the dealer, as I mentioned, it's a thousand dollar item, but the dealer has a 20% discount. So the dealer knows that their cost is $800, that it is in stock and um, all the other specs around it, maybe the weight and dimensions so that, because you need that to calculate shipping Okay, and sales tax information, all of that is stored in Epicor. We're reading that real time. Now, right from here, I could click and go to a shopping cart right there and place that order and pay by credit card if they have a card on file, or they could enter in a new card and we're going to instantly check if that's a valid card, if they have exceeded their credit limit. And if everything is good, well, then that transaction is going to set up a order back into the manufacturer's uh, headquarters and are uh, you know, right within uh, Upper Court. Okay. And the experience is going to be the same, Mark, whether it's on a laptop like this or on a smartphone. More and more people are buying off their smartphone because it's with them all the time and uh, or a, a tablet. No, I so agree. I, I agree 100% with that from personal experience. Um, yeah. Okay, looks like we're up against our, our 30 minutes here. Hey, Chris, I want to thank you for for wonderful presentation. Um, everybody, you know, stay tuned. We're getting, uh, you know, we've got the, I should have the slide here. Sorry to put that up of our upcoming Lunch and Learns. Uh, Partrap will be visiting with us again in, in the future here. Um, so, Chris, I, I thank you so much again for this. Sophia, thank you for helping put this together. And, and Rachel. Um, hey, Mark. If, uh -huh. if I could just, uh, yeah, thanks to everybody from your end and thanks for your, your customers for, you know, spending a little time here. Um, I wish I could provide you with some uh, good Jersey pizza. So, but uh, we'll have to meet <laughs> for that. But, you know, in all honesty, what I would suggest to your, you know, your customers who joined us today and those who could not make it might view this in a, um, you know, a, a, a video that you might provide them is reach out to Mark, reach out to IHS and let's set up just an, an initial workshop to look at your current situation and some of the challenges and needs that you have, not only today, but as you think about going forward, getting closer to your end user customer, which so many manufacturers want to do, okay? Um, it's no charge. We're just gonna ask some questions. We're gonna talk about some possible solutions and, um, and you know, suggestions for possible ways forward. When we do a demo, we typically will get images from your, you would send us some images or we'll scrape them off your website and actually show you your products in a 3D type format, uh, making it a much more interesting experience for your customer when they hit your website. Because statistically, if your customer doesn't find what they're looking for in a matter of 30 seconds, they're going to go somewhere else and they're probably not coming back. So just something to think about. Thanks for your time. Um, looking forward to speaking with you uh, at some time forward. Mark, thanks for being a great partner with Partrap and everyone have a safe and terrific day. All right. Thank you, Chris. And, and you all notice in the chat, uh, Rachel did put in the link to uh, click that link. It will take you to our list of webinars coming up so you can uh, click and register there. Uh, and likewise, everybody will be getting an email with a link to the replay of this. So again, thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon.